So here we have a panorama of clay next to the sea in northern Norfolk. Now clay is this really charming little village. Uh, now a couple of kilometres in the direction I'm pointing is this wonderful church, in fact it's more over there, a uh, wonderful church of St Margaret's which looks like a um, cathedral. Uh, outstanding in such a small place. Of course in Norwich many places Norfolk, I should say, in many places have enormous churches for small populations, and this one really does stand out. Uh, coming along, going back over there, in fact, is the, is the windmill, which is it's also a hotel. A lady just said to me, if you've never stayed here before, then you really ought to. Um, it's about, oh, it's up to £180 a night for double room, and... Uh, with, depending on which room you take, I think the prices start around £90 off, off season. I've never stayed in there, I don't know, I'm just repeating what somebody said to me. Now here we have uh, the village, uh, one charming street that you drive through, you can see driving through on another one of my films. But a uh, very nice coastal road. I'm now standing on the um, sea defence, because once upon a time that was the sea. Clay was a port and uh, there was an attempt to reclaim the land from about the 18th century onwards which as can be seen wasn't particularly successful because all it's done is create a bit of a marsh with channels leading out but you can't really use this for agriculture. A bit further down there in the direction of Salt House you can see how land is being used for agricultural uses but on the whole it's largely marsh and it's great if you're uh, bird watching or something like that but uh, agriculture use it may not be. However one thing it has happened I think that this does give a certain amount of protection from the sea and gales and with the uh, global warming on the sea advancing. Uh, here it's obviously retreated but uh, this type of thing does actually protect the land far more than a sea wall would do on the beach uh, on the seafront directly and this is a very tiny uh, layer, a layer, tiny um, wall but we've got all that protection as well, and I think that that would make a, a big difference. One of the theories is, is that if you create these channels leading out to the sea, by giving up farmland or giving up land, then it does actually protect uh, the land beyond that uh, to a great degree. In fact, there are places where the, the traditional defence of sea walls are being broken to allow uh, little channels like this to come back into them. And you can see this not only on the Norfolk coast, but in many areas uh, on the British coastline. I'm sure it's done in other countries as well. So there we have clay next to the sea. There's the, there's the sea, and by the way it used to be, and there's the, there's the town village.